Hi, this is Brian Canone for fitnessatlantic.com. And one thing I want to talk about in this video is something that I don't know if everybody thinks about it, but it's kind of like my thoughts, all right? This is my question. And do you feel that physique sports, bikini, fitness, fitness model, bodybuilding figure, has it increased the amount of fans or has it always stayed the same? Or has it fell off a little bit? What do you think your ideas are? Because my opinion, I think it changed a little bit. I think there's definitely more competitors now, especially with figure and bikini. I think there's a lot more competitors. I think sometimes the promoters of show just look at the numbers of competitors they can get on stage and they look at those entry fees. And I think just in my opinion, I, I think it's harder to create a star now than it was in the 80s and 90s. I just think that before there were less competitors, but you kind of knew the names. If, if, if you were at the biggest show of the year and the top guys came out, you could name them all by name. And you kind of knew what their story was. You knew their personal profile. You knew about them. You knew where they were from, what they did. You know who didn't like what other person. And it was kind of more of a story behind it. And I think now it's really hard with like the bikini division and there's so many girls competing in bikini that you don't get the same amount of, of personal interest into the shows. I think you find somebody will come in, win, and then they're gone again. You know, it's who's defending the title, who's holding the title, who's, who's trying to take the title from the other person. I, I just find that it becomes interesting. It's like going to see a boxing match or going to see the UFC or going to see something that, that's interesting because the fans want to know who's going to beat who and who's the person up for the title and who's the next up and coming star and what's that person doing. I think it builds a lot. Uh, I think it was more interesting a few years back than it is now. I think definitely, um, I don't know if it's true, you know, I mean, it's, it's my opinion. This is how I, just, I feel about it. I think there's a lot more, especially the women that are competing now. They need to be put more in spotlights. They need to be more talked about. They need more media attention. They need more publicity to build more fans. You know, but you know, if the numbers are good and there's a lot of people in bikini anyway, then, then maybe I'm wrong. But to me, I just think, you know, sometimes less is more. You know, I want to see the pros, the, the people who become pro, get that publicity, get that media attention, and make it so that it's interesting, so that now that audience is jam-packed seeing who's going to win. And they know the difference between the two names. They know it's this person or that person are up for it. Or it's this person against that person. Or I want to see this one win. I want to see that one win. Um, I look forward to that. I look forward to the day where that can happen, where the people get the media attention and they get the publicity so that they become very, very popular and you start to create new and new stars from that. I think it's fun. I don't think people need to be looked at it in, in a negative way. Um, I think rivalry is good, you know? I definitely, I, I, I'm a believer in, in that because I don't think it's a bad thing. I think that it just helps both people become more and more popular. And, you know, it should be done tastefully. If they don't like each other for real, then, you know, maybe they don't. But, um, you know, there's certain people should want to win. You should want to win a show and go into the show because you have full out intention of winning. And there's nothing wrong with that. It doesn't have to be all hugs and kisses at the end of the show. It has to be something where that person won and they deserve to win and it's a big deal. And it, the title should mean something. And that's just my opinion and some people may think differently and that's why I just would like to know your comments on that one. Okay, so thank you. This is Brian Cano for fitnessatlantic.com.